Hi everyone, I'm Spiro for Newsbud.com. It's no secret at this point that the media loves to hate Trump. President Donald Trump has been in a war of words with the media, exchanging blows on a regular basis, distracting the public from some very real and important issues that we're going to get to coming up. And this week was no difference as Trump announced the winners of his fake news awards, listing his top 11 fake news stories. And wouldn't you know it, each story had something to do with Trump. Well, it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking at the headlines every day, but the world does not revolve around Trump. So here's the biggest fake news story in recent history that we think should have been at the top of Trump's list. In fact, it wasn't even included on Trump's list. And the award goes to NBC slash MSNBC for their coverage on the Turkey coup attempt. And we're not the only ones who believe this. Julian Assange said in a tweet, the most serious case of fake news is not on Trump's fake news awards list. NBC falsely reported citing a senior U.S. military source that Erdogan had fled the country. To which I responded, hey Julian, I agree. The most serious case of fake news in recent history. Not only did Sibel Edmonds predict the coup, but she broke the story exposing NBC, then went to New York City to confront them while everyone else did nothing. Give credit where it's due. Now the reason this should be at the top of the fake news list is because NBC actively participated in and engaged in a psychological operation in real time in an effort to ensure the success of the attempted coup. And NewsBuds founder and editor Sibel Edmonds caught them red handed and traced the original source who initially spread this fake news back to Kyle Griffin, a producer at MSNBC, and called him on it. Now, Kyle Griffin sent out a tweet that Erdogan had fled the country right in the middle of the coup and was seeking asylum in Germany, citing a senior military source. Now, this is significant because virtually all the news outlets in the world ran with this story, and it was designed to make people in Turkey think that their leader had given up and was no longer in power and was fleeing the country. This would have a defeating psychological effect for anyone resisting the CIA-backed coup, when in fact Erdogan did not flee the country. Later, he held an emergency press conference via FaceTime to rally the people to the streets to resist the coup plotters, and it was successful. Now, everyone who supported this coup, including the operatives in the media who knowingly pushed this fake news, have blood on their hands, as hundreds of people died that night. Now, when Sibel Edmonds, myself, and hundreds of others confronted Kyle Griffin on Twitter about his alleged senior Pentagon source and their false reporting, he ran and hid and blocked anyone and everyone who would even mention this. Even the Turkish government came out demanding that NBC retract their story in light of NewsBud's report, and NBC stonewalled. So what did we do? Did we give up? Hell no. We got on a plane and flew across the country to NBC headquarters in Manhattan to confront NBC and demand a retraction and let the world know that they are no longer a news agency. They are discredited and they are a branch of the U.S. government propaganda division. It made international headlines and people are still talking about it to this day. And that was when NewsBud was only a few months old, a brand new media outlet. Now, NewsBud is only funded through your donations and subscriptions, and we really do count on your support to make what we do here at NewsBud.com possible. And with your support, we have built a world-class news organization. A monthly subscription to the website costs less than $10 a month and will provide you with full access to all of our amazing content that our distinguished team of experts and professionals produce on a daily basis. Now, let's take a look at what NewsBud subscribers got just in the last week alone for their monthly subscription. This week at NewsBud, our founder and editor, Sibel Edmonds, has some big breaking news on an imminent false flag attack. Our Russia expert covers the first documented drone swarm attack on Russian military bases. Our China expert breaks down the false alarm ballistic missile threat in Hawaii that was allegedly an accident. Our constitutional attorney exposes the financial tyranny most Americans are subject to. But first, this week, NewsBud's founder and editor, Sibel Edmonds, had some big breaking news based on information received from carefully vetted sources detailing one of the CIA's proxies, the Gulan Network, and their recent moves to expand their operations and infiltrate China to set up shop under the cover of the Gulan Charter School Network, which is a massive network of charter schools in over 100 countries around the world. This announcement comes with a warning that this is part of a covert operation to carry out false flag attacks inside China. According to one news but source, the back-to-back -back false flag terror operations will begin within the next three to six months in mainland China. 
Here is a guideline to assist in identifying and neutralizing CIA Gulen terror operatives in China. Now, the full report is a must-see, and it's available for everyone exclusively at newsbud.com. Uh, this week, the NewsBud team published an in-depth roundtable discussion with Sibel Edmonds and the host of the Russian newspaper Monitor, Professor Phil Kovacevic, and the host of NewsBud's China Watch, Peter Lee. Iran, Iran-Russia, Iran-China, Iran-Pakistan, Pakistan, China, and and having the I what I consider who I consider the world's top greatest experts analysts on these involved regions and and countries. We have a lot to cover. In this one hour plus roundtable, the panel of geopolitical experts bring you the latest news and analysis as they break down the most important and current developments that are literally shaping our world today. Now, you will not find this information anywhere else. NewsBud is making it happen thanks to the support we receive from our subscribers. Not only is this roundtable extremely important and informative, but it's also a lot of fun to watch as the panel really has some great chemistry. Now, the full one hour and 13 minute roundtable is available right now at newsbud.com for subscribing members. Non-members can watch and share at NewsBud Vimeo On Demand. Now, today, NewsBud published an exclusive article by Kurt Nimmo, which breaks down the U.S. plans for Syria. That's right, they have not given up on their mission to get rid of Assad and break up the country, no matter how many terrorist groups the U.S. and their allies have to arm, and no matter how many innocent lives will be lost. This exclusive article details information that is not being reported by the pocketed and controlled propaganda arm of the establishment known as the mainstream media. This is a must-read article titled, Tillerson Announces Illegal Occupation in Syria. Find out how and why the West has created a powder keg in the Middle East that could escalate into a very different kind of conflict not seen before, exclusively at newsbud.com. This week on NewsBud's Probable Cause, Sibel Edmonds is joined by Mike Meharry, who has authored three books on nullification. He's also a journalist and the communications director at the Tenth Amendment Center. In this nearly one-hour interview, Sibel and Michael lay out the blueprint for grassroots activism at the state and local levels. They also tackle some major issues here in the U.S., such as covert CIA kidnapping and torture programs, known as rendition, the out-of-control TSA, the police state, mass surveillance, Common Core, medical marijuana, and much more, while also shedding light on some of the current victories the people and the states are having against the federal government. And guess what? Things are not happening, you know, from top to bottom. It's, it's a bottom-up situation. Things are happening at the local level. With that, and having all this talk, I want to turn to you and have you explain to us why Tenth Amendment and what is the number one reason for, for the existence of the Tenth Amendment Center? So the Tenth Amendment, I think, is probably the most important and most overlooked aspect of the Constitution. You know, it's, it's what they call a rule of construction. It really tells us how to read the Constitution. And essentially what it says is that all of the powers that were not delegated to the federal government, which are most all powers, those are supposed to remain with the states and with the people themselves. So in a nutshell, the federal government shouldn't be doing about 90% of what it's doing on a daily basis. Now, you will not see this kind of information in your evening news unless you're a member at newsbud.com. Non-members can watch and share at NewsBud Vimeo On Demand. Now, this week on NewsBud's geopolitical report with Kurt Nimmo, Nimmo documents the war on cannabis from its roots dating back over 100 years all the way to today's current battle between the states and the federal government, including the propaganda war waged against cannabis by the establishment that deemed marijuana as dangerous as heroin and nuclear bombs. Yes, that's right. The U.S. government at one time claimed a joint was as dangerous as being exposed to a nuclear explosion. Reagan told many outrageous lies about cannabis. For instance, he said smoking one marijuana cigarette is equal in brain damage to being on Bikini Island during an H-bomb blast. Now find out the latest moves by the Trump administration and Attorney General Jeff Sessions regarding marijuana exclusively available right now for NewsBud community members. Non-members can watch and share at NewsBud Vimeo On Demand. This week, Bass Blett wrote an exclusive article for NewsBud detailing the seemingly non-related strategic operations by the West to covertly target and contain Iran for decades. Everything from coups to assassinations and much more, in their quest to conquer and topple Iran, just the way that they have done to many other nations. 
find out how and why the atmosphere is ripe for a false flag to implement the next phase on the desperate path to Persia. This is a must read and the full article is available exclusively for everyone at newsbud.com. Now, in this week's edition of NewsBud's Russian Newspaper Monitor, Professor Philip Kovacevic covers the first ever documented drone swarm attack that was directed at two Russian military bases inside Syria. While the Western governments and the Western media play dumb, find out what the Russian press is reporting and how Western intelligence is involved, plus the latest efforts by the European Union against Russia and the ongoing economic war currently being waged behind the scenes, and some very interesting developments in Ukraine that include U.S. weapons, a large prisoner exchange, and the high risk for a false flag that could ignite a war that is all being blacked out by the media exclusively at NewsBud.com. Non-members can watch and share at NewsBud Vimeo On Demand. This week, William Engdahl wrote an exclusive article for News by detailing a brand new study that was done on Monsanto's Roundup right in the middle of a heated debate on whether Roundup is dangerous and should be considered a carcinogen. Right after, the European agricultural minister and suspected Monsanto shill pulled a fast one on Europe, renewing the use of glyphosate in the European Union for another five years. Meanwhile, glyphosate is being found in the food that we eat, the water that we drink, and even the rain. Find out in this NewsBud exclusive article written by the man who wrote the book on the topic titled Seeds of Destruction, The Hidden Agenda of Genetic Manipulation has to say about this recent and damning study that shows, once again, that Monsanto is not only continuing to poison us and our environment, but they are lying about it as their protected trade secrets that the USDA and the EPA refuse to test are more toxic than glyphosate itself and are literally everywhere. It's extremely important, extremely dangerous. This is a must read for everyone and it's exclusively available at newsbud.com. And this week, NewsBud is proud to announce the newest addition to the team, whose first article for NewsBud was just published this week, and it's titled, Macedonia's Name Dispute, Another NATO Excuse to Expand Operations in Europe. Now, joining me now is Chris Melides, who is based in Greece. Chris, tell us a little bit about your background as a journalist. I started as a, as a news anchor, and my story starts back in 2000, about 2000. Uh, I started as a news anchor in uh, radio stations and as a journalist in uh, newspapers. I covered <clears throat> local topics or national topics. I worked in my city or uh, sometimes in Athens. I went uh, even uh, to Crete and uh, worked there. After some years, I discovered the news were not uh, actually the news. <laughs> I mean, uh, the news we were hearing, and I was, I was writing, and I was transmitting. It was not uh, exactly real, so I decided uh, some years ago to uh, to start my own uh, web page, which is off the record, and uh, to report and give the people another look uh, about what is happening in Greece and national and international topics. Uh, and uh, give the people uh, issues that the mainstream media do not report. Now, what kind of topics can NewsBud readers expect to see you cover? Well, uh, the topics um, uh, I'm, I'm already uh, covering the last years, the economic crisis in Greece and the refugee crisis was a turning point for me. I turned to, uh, to issues like intelligence issues, uh, politics, national and international politics, or if you like, I prefer the term, I use the term covered politics. Chris, what are your thoughts on the current state of independent media? Let me be straight. There are no independent media. I mean, even in the smallest media news or corporations I worked for, there were interests behind it. Most commonly, uh, politicians, they were paying. Uh, and I saw that, I worked there, I saw that. That's why it's one of the reasons I left uh, and I do my own work. Uh, so I think that Newsbud is uh, not just uh, an exception. I think it's the exception. And of course, Sibel Edmonds and what she's doing, this is uh, unique. I haven't seen that before. And that's, uh, that's, that's the reason I started giving and exchanging informations with her, and that brought us here, of course. Chris, can you provide a brief overview of your recent article? Well, uh, it, is, uh, it is an article about 
the name dispute uh, between uh, Macedonia or Firom um, and uh, Greece, which has been, ha has been happening for, uh, for long years. Uh, and you know, in my country, they do not accept the name uh, Macedonia, but in my article, I don't get to the dispute itself. I'm going deep into the covert relationships between the countries that are involved, which is Macedonia and Greece, of course, but it is also Albania. And of course, it's United States that's pulling the strings. And of course, it's NATO, which, uh, which is, that's why uh, all, this, uh, all this happens, to get uh, Macedonia into NATO. So this dispute, it's, uh, let's say, somehow fake. It shouldn't have existed. So we see in the article all these covered relationships and the money, where the money goes, who pays, who, who is pulling the strings. You're going to find George Soros inside, prime ministers and a lot of others. I want to also say that uh, Sibel Edmunds um, is a person that uh, I was um, admiring long before. You know, I knew her story. I knew her story. And... Uh, I, I even had uh, published her story in my website and I never expected to meet her and get in the Newsbat team. Really, it was, it is an amazing team, amazing team. And um, as I said before, Sibel Edmonds is uh, unique, one of a kind in what she's doing. And I'm fully supporting. Well, thank you, Chris. We're proud to have you join the team and we're looking forward to much more from you in the future. Now, this article is available now exclusively for members at newsbud.com. This week on Newsbud's China Watch, Peter Lee breaks down the latest in the propaganda war that's currently being waged against the U.S. adversaries, particularly China. Peter not only dissects the propaganda war, but also the covert operations and strategies that are in motion as the fight for Asia dominance is a dream that U.S. war hawks seemingly will not let go. Plus, get Newsbud's Asia experts take on the big news this week about the false alarm of an inbound ballistic missile that caused widespread panic in Hawaii. Supposedly, somebody clicked the wrong option twice during the state of Hawaii's daily test of its OMG, we're all gonna die warning system and sent out a live alert. Now the system has been reconfigured, so not one but two people have to click the right options. So Hawaii is presumably protected against false alarms. If those two people happen to be away from their computers and at the coffee machine during a real attack, quite frankly, it doesn't matter either, because there's not a lot of quality civil defense preparation going on, unless you consider lying on the floor, top-tier protection against a nuclear warhead. All this and much more in this exclusive episode of NewsBud's China Watch, which is available now for subscribing members. If you're not a member, NewsBud Vimeo On Demand is your ticket. Now, President Trump made headlines with his question during the immigration meeting asking why America accepts immigrants from shithole nations. Never failing to seize an opportunity, the media went rampant on this story for days. It's all we heard about. Everywhere you looked, it was shithole, 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 shithole. In his comments, Trump's comments were aimed at Haiti and Africa. But what is not being reported is why these two countries are in such bad shape. Now, this week, NewsBuds Kurt Nimmo wrote an exclusive article titled "Who Made Haiti a Shithole." This is a must-read article that is jam-packed with information, a lot of which I didn't even know about, and really goes to the heart of the issue that everyone has been ignoring. And if Haiti is indeed a shithole, as President Trump claims, America played a large role in that outcome. Find out why and how exclusively at newsbud.com for subscribing members. This week, NewsBud's constitutional expert, John W. Whitehead, documents how the deck is stacked against the American people as financial tyranny currently being waged against them in many ways. In this NewsBud exclusive episode of Battlefield America, Whitehead exposes how the healthcare and medical industries are out of control. Healthcare in America is just another way of making corporations rich, very rich at consumer expense. An examination, by the way, of an itemized hospital bill revealed an amazing amount of price gouging. Tylenol, which you can buy for less than $10 for a bottle, was charged to the patient at a rate of $15 per pill for a total of $345 for a hospital stay. 
$8 for a plastic bag to hold the patient's personal items, and another $8 for a box of Kleenex, $23 for a single alcohol swab, $53 per pair for non-sterile gloves, adding up to five over $5,000 for an entire hospital stay, $10 for a plastic cup in which to take one's medicine, $93 for use of an overhead light during a surgical procedure, $39 each time you want to hold your newborn baby, and $800 for a sterile water bag that costs about a dollar to make. The full video is available now for members at newsbud.com. Non-members can watch and share at Newsbud Vimeo On Demand. Now, NewsBud also offers our own aggregated news, and we call it Sabelle's Picks. It's the best source for aggregated news online. NewsBud's founder and editor, Sabelle Edmonds, handpicks each story herself. You get about 90 links a week, plus all of the articles, the breaking news, the interviews, the roundtables, and much more exclusively for NewsBud community members. Be sure to join the NewsBud community today. You will not be disappointed. We want to deliver the best for each and every one of you, but we need your support to do so. From all of us here at NewsBud, thank you for your support. Stay tuned for next week's lineup.